Hello and welcome back, I'm Faintly Saintly, and this is Dungeon Clawler, the demo, released by Stray Fawn Studio. It's an upcoming, uh, how can I describe it, a claw game roguelike, I guess, because everything's got to be a roguelike now. I saw this in the store on Steam and thought, yeah, I need to give this a go. So basically, from what I can tell, it is a claw game, and you put items in the claw machine and you pick them up to use them. So this little character here is us and we move, this is just the overworld and think of any other roguelike, Slay the Spy or anything like that, you move along different events, different battles and then a boss fight on each floor. So this is the battle screen, this is us, got three enemies here, this tells us what they're doing, they're gonna block, attack, okay and this is our claw. So we move this one around, we pick up items, drop them in the machine here, and they will come out and be used. I'm just going to quickly adjust my volume a little bit. There we go. So we'll be taking a bit of damage, so I could focus on some shields first. So this looks like it tells us what's in there. We've got a big shield, a bunch of little shields. Ah, oh, I dropped the big shield. That's a shame. If I can get some damage in as well. And this is fluff. Rewards one fluff when collected, which does. Uh, can be used to craft new clothes. There you go. So we've used our two claws. The enemy's attacked. We blocked it all, which is good. Biggie bank rewards two to five coins when collected. And that's... Okay, that's the currency, basically. Um, let's go here. But it always amazes me to... Uh, Amazes me to see how people apply the roguelike uh, or roguelite concept to <laughs> different things. We've seen Blatcher obviously with poker. There was um, what was it? Bing Bingle Bingle the ro the roulette roguelike, and um, and here we are with the claw machine of all things. But hey, if it works, it works, right? And so far, it's working. Uh, just a, a simple but fun concept. So basically. Not about like any other roguelike, but how you choose your attacks is uh, very unique. I think one claw left. Can I do six damage? How much do the daggers do? Daggers do six. If I can get daggers, at least one dagger in a shield, I'll be laughing. That looks pretty good. Oh, he's got a shield there as well. That's okay. Ice slime. So he blocks, he just attacks. Um, I need some shield. That's a good grab. Now I can focus on the offensive. I can't tell if I actually want the fluff or not. I'm assuming it's just there to get in the way, but it sounds like there is a use for it eventually, so we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, I'll do six damage I reckon, I can get one little shield in. There we go. I should aim for the piggy bank as well. As long as I'm not in any immediate danger. Well, this is looking precarious, but it worked. Okay, his turn, he'll attack, he'll do nothing. Beautiful. Alright, I can finish him off, I just need one more dagger. But I'll grab four, three. <laughs> Perfect. Enemy defeated. Okay, pick your reward. We can get another dagger, we can get a spiky shield or a small shield. Gives you five spikes. Deals one damage to the attacker when being attacked. That sounds good to me. We move on. Okay, so spikes will shred this guy. Lava slime. If we get spikes and a bit of shield happening, that'll be ideal.
We will need quite a bit of shield happening, won't I? There we go. Probably to follow the same strategy, I can probably win this fight without actually attacking if I just get enough shield going. I think I have that big shield there. Little dagger for good measure. And uh oh, if it's not over. Beautiful. I'll go for the piggy bank now, I think. Bit of currency, and now I just need a single dagger. Oh, nearly made a mess of that, but we will sneak through. Beautiful. Okay, another spiky shield. Lucky stick attacks the nearest enemy for 1 to 20 damage. 1 to 20. What does the normal dagger do? Like 6. Could be good, could be bad. Ah, oh, what the hell. We'll, we'll give it a try. Now we're in a treasure room. Guess I'll just pick what I want. So healing potions. Swamp. There is always a 20% water inside the machine. Water. In here. Okay. Master Claw. You only have one claw, but each collected item is used two times. Ooh, that's... Concerning. I don't know if I like the idea of that, actually, but... Hey, we'll keep things interesting. Only one claw, but every item we pick up is used twice. So on... Actually, that's going to kill me, isn't it? Because I'm not going to be able to defend and attack in the same turn. Unless I somehow manage to pick up several items, so this might be okay. That's worked out alright, so I just need to make sure I get shields and attack power in the same go, really. I risk it there. Could be nice. Okay. <laughs> it concerned me, but it seems pretty good. Attack the nearest enemy, dealing 3 damage, plus 1 damage for each 10 coins you have. I don't even have 10 coins. It turns water into poison water. It turns fluff into poison fluff. That's great, but I didn't get the water, did I? Uh, look, I'll grab the gold dagger just to have it. This. Big sapling. This enemy intends to buff itself or others so this is a free hit so I really want to get some damage out now beautiful so little daggers do six small sword does eight this one and six has also got Spikes now that's burning. Uh, what do I do here? I forget a bit of everything shield, spikes, attack, hold on their sword. Yes, ah, which sword didn't go first, but anyway, that's is what it is. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh oh. Get the shield in first, please. Ah, uh, oh well. Okay. Secure a ward, a savings account. Get 10% of your coins at the end of a fight. Start each combat with 10 block, or there is always 20% water. I like the idea of starting with block. But two paths to follow. What is this? Jinko machine, blacksmith. What is that? 
nothing. Ah, oh, it just blocks the path. Okay. Alright, so immediately we're against the same boss. And a healer. Which is concerning. Need to do some damage. Oh, does the piggy bank get used twice as well? It does. That's nice. Okay, that's beautiful. Killed that guy quickly. He's buffed and healed now. That's going to be a problem. Also, I'm about to get smacked. Well, the thorns should help, or the spikes. Hmm. At least the shield goes first, that should help. There we go. He'll heal himself. Need a little mix like that. There we go. Plenty of shield, plenty of attack power. We'll block him easily. We'll hit the thorns. He's got seven health left. Any damage should win. And here it is. Beautiful. Another lucky stick, a poison bath bomb or a double bladed sword. Attacks the nearest enemy for 30 damage but lose 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 10 health. Don't know about that. Um I'll actually re-roll. Fill the machine with water. Deals 40 damage, lose 5 health for each, each item that gets picked up with it. Or a small sword. Oh, I guess I'll take the small sword. I like the idea of doing more damage to myself right now, especially if I have no healing and with this one claw thing, it's a bit dangerous. This enemy intends to add items to the machine. That's a dick move. Um, hopefully I get a good combo of things here. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, drop the spikes. That's okay. Turned out alright in the end. Killed him, blocked the attack. I'll see you don't drop a fluff in there. Okay. Give me some shield and some sh spikes, please. And there's a sword in there for good measure. Measure. Or a dagger. Won't block at all, but I'll do more damage to him than he does to me. Go again. Okay, 40 blocks good, 12 damage. He will be nearly dead now. Wouldn't mind going for the piggy bank, but I need to guarantee I can kill him. What's a fluff? 33 fluff. I wonder when that'll come in handy. I haven't seen anything yet. There's water into lava. There's fluff into burning fluff. X nearest enemy for 20 damage and removes block. Attacks the nearest enemy for 5 damage and applies 3 poison. The battle axe sounds stronger. That might be bigger and harder to pick up though. Mm. Oh, I'll try it. Blacksmith. Upgrade daggers, upgrade shields, and upgrade anything else. Okay. Ah, oh, turn two daggers into one of these. Um. Why not? What are these fellas? Frogs intend to modify items in the machine. 
and they're doing 25 damage each. That is a scary thought. Keep the dagger, damn it. I'll block the damage at least, but I'm not any better off for it. What have they done? Made my shield and dagger huge. I need 25 damage again. I need some shields, I need some spikes. Oh, two daggers too. That's nice. I'm gonna clock some damage here though. Fine, take the shields. Let the spikes do some work. They're pretty relentless, aren't they? 25 damage with one claw. That's quite painful. Yeah, I usually wouldn't go for an upgrade like that. I like to have, you know, a few goes at things. Um, but, you know, keep things interesting. Got 18 health left. Do 25 damage. Can I take that dagger with me? No. That's alright, the spikes are doing their job. As long as I keep blocking. He'll wear himself out eventually. That is a massive <laughs> axe. What is it? The uh, battle axe. I just need to kill now, don't I? I need to get him out. I like enough to grab that piggy as well. Ah, oh, it didn't count though. Okay, body armor. Gain five block at the side of every turn, or gain two strength. You like that? idea whoa a lot of damage he's gonna do a big hit and kill the machine with fluff god i'm gonna die i'd love to have the spikes but really need the shield oh that might not be good enough Hmm. Thing. I'd love to grab that armor, but again, I'll be left without shield. What if I got this one? Hopefully, pick up some damage with him. Ah. Just horrible. I drop the shield. Oh, I'm in trouble, I think. Actually, that kill helps a lot. Ah, it won't help enough. Oh, no, just. Oof. spreading water at the moment. Might be the go. If I can get the armor and a shield. That's 10 free block every turn, which will be fantastic. Oh, I won't survive. Never mind. Damn. Better luck next time. I'm gonna give it another crack. I just I'll pick a different starting item. Uh, space to close the claw manually. Backspace to skip the turn. In the future, you'll be able to craft clothes with fluff, but not yet. That's fine. Actually, options, game speed, ultra. Let's see how that looks. Whoa. Doing lots of damage. I've got two claws now, so I can stress a bit less.
Beautiful. Get the kill. There we go. I don't think I'm going to go back to one glory if we get the option. I knew it would be dangerous, but it was. You get stuck a little bit, don't you? Warhammer's new. Attack the nearest enemy for 20, increase block by 10. I like that. Attack the first enemy for 2 and gives you one dodge. Dodges one attack completely. Let's give it a go. I reckon the brass knuckles will be smaller as well, so easy to grab. Oh no, they're huge. I take it back. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? Hoping to get the kill, but that's okay. Uh, dodge gets used up even if you block the attack as well, which is a shame. Oh no. It's fine. So I need to hit him once. I'm going to get the picky bank as well if I can. Beautiful. Dark Sword hurts me. Magic Wand attacks the last enemy and heals me. Heals damage based on block. Better the wand. Bit of healing probably is a good thing. Always 20% water in the machine. Or if you only pick up a single item in a turn, it gets used twice. What does the water do? Interested to find out. Oh, it just has water in there. <laughs> I don't know what that does though. Um, do I can grab here? Ah, oh, no, that's terrible. Be kind. That'll do. Okay. Get a bit aggressive and kill this one. That's not going to do it for me. Good. I'm protected. Ah. Just like a claw machine IRL. Look at the sword. Okay. Chipping away at him, but he's blocking every turn, which is slowing me down. I don't have any huge damage dealers. Did I try for the piggy bank? No, nope, that's okay. Job done. Turns water into lava. Turns fluff into burning fluff, dealing two damage to the nearest enemy. I think I have to do that because that'll actually make the fluff useful for me. They're up against the sapling again, so he'll buff himself, give himself thorns. And now I have burning fluff. Which is nice, I guess. That's pretty good. So the fluff does damage for me now, which is pretty handy. Nice. I didn't quite catch that. Did the fluff trigger his spikes? Sure did. I need to be careful of that. Oh, 
Trying to keep some shield up. That's nice. Good shield there. Uh, in that case, I'll go for a big attack. Completely misjudged that. Yeah, spikes are dangerous in a situation like this. 15 spikes, I really just need to get a shield first. Oh, please drop the shield first. Damn. Oh well. Increases the amount of fluff in the machine by 10. Each attack applies one poison. If you kill a poison enemy, it applies poison to all other enemies. And have both. No poisonous weapons. This time I'll go for the Pachinko Machine. And I think it would make more sense to get the Lava Bomb, Lava Bath Bomb this time, because, oh no, wait, no, he's going to get Spikes as well. I didn't realize it was the same enemy. Whoops. Might have just killed myself there. Knock that fluff in. Hmm. Twenty spikes. I think I'm in trouble. Oh god. <laughs> it's only killed myself with the spikes. Oh, wonderful. Alright. I might leave it there. This was Dungeon Clawler. The demo's out. The full game will be out. I think it says quarter three this year. I'll post a link to the store page in the description anyway. And uh, I think I'll play this one again. I actually thought it was quite fun. Um, interesting take on the roguelike genre. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm Faintly Saintly. If you would like to see more like this, please subscribe. It helps me out. Keeps you in the loop when new videos come out. And uh, if you have any game recommendations or feedback, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to every one of you. So thank you. And I'll see you next time.